Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose, but you can call me Juice and I hope y'all are having a great motherfucking planty day. So since the fall season has just started, I thought I would give you guys some of my fall slash winter care tips and just how to keep your plants happy during the off season. But honestly, if you're able to maintain the right conditions, it can be the growing season all the time. So if you want to figure out how to do that, please make sure to stick around. And if you didn't already know, I'd be uploading plant content here every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you'd be looking for that... I got you and you should definitely think about checking out my other videos and if you already have why not click that subscribe button you're already here also don't forget to leave me a like or a comment on this video it really helped my channel out and I'd also really appreciate it but anyways let's just get right into these plant tips all right so the first thing we are going to be talking about are grow lights so in my new plant room i actually have no windows at all so i have to use grow lights entirely to grow my plants in here and i know that in the winter we are gonna have to use grow lights more because we're not gonna have as much sunlight so I thought I'd give you guys some tips on how to save some money, not only on your electric bill, but also on some grow lights. So first and foremost, I did just get a new light in here. Y'all, it is literally super bright and it's not even sold as like a grow light, but it is 8,000 lumens, which is plenty bright enough to be used as a grow light. And it really helps brighten up this room a ton. But I got this at Lowe's yesterday and it was only 20 bucks. I think it was uh, originally 30. So I definitely recommend something like this if you want to light up a really big area. But if you want to do something smaller and not super bright, if you like don't have a plant room like me and you're just trying to keep it more chill i do have these led light bulbs that i also use as grow lights so this one is 1600 lumens it's a little bit more low-key and like brightening up a certain section but i've been using these as grow lights for the longest time literally like since the start of my plant collection and my plants have been growing with them just fine i definitely do want to get like more plant specific grow lights like these ones because i don't know if these are like full spectrum or not i really doubt that they are you can get two of these light bulbs at like you know walmart fred meyer they're literally just like regular, regular light bulbs and they're daylight bulbs. So they do kind of mimic the light that would be outside. And since these are LED lights, they are going to use less energy, which, you know, is going to be less money on the electric bill. I mean, right now we're in that period where it's like fall, but like it's still like sunny and stuff outside, at least in my area. So there is still some light around outside as we speak. But obviously, as we get more into the end of the year, we're going to have less and less light. So you're definitely going to need grow lights to keep your plants growing throughout the winter and to keep them happy continuously throughout the year. So yeah, I'm definitely pro grow lights since it's how I keep my plants happy in here. It's so bright, oh my God. But anyways, let's move on to the next topic. All right guys, so the next thing I suggest to keep your plants happy is some sort of way to keep them at a temperature where they're not gonna be sad. So typically tropical house plants, which you know are the majority of the house plants that we keep, tend to stay happy around like 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, I would say. Um, luckily in this plant room, I have enough grow lights on that they create enough heat, I think, where like it stays a decent temperature because I could definitely tell a difference between the temperature in here and the temperature out there. Luckily for me, I don't need to run a heater or anything, but if you're not in the same situation as me, I would recommend running a heater if you need to. Unfortunately, this will add on to the electric bill, but... It's going to be winter, so I feel like most of us are going to be using our heaters in general. So just know your plants are going to benefit from the heat as well. And it will also help them keep growing because if the plants are warm and happy, they're going to want to keep on putting out new growth. But one downside about using heaters is that they can dry out the air and rob the plants of some humidity. So that's going to be our little segue into the next topic. 
So the next thing we're gonna be talking about is using a humidifier. So as the name suggests, a humidifier is going to help add some humidity back into the air. And not only is a heater going to dry the air out, but the cold air outside in general will also dry the air out. So it's definitely good to have a humidifier around. If there's higher humidity, the plants seem to do better all around and new leaves tend to come in a lot easier. So if you want something more on a budget, I just use a humidifier I got for Target, I think for like 30 bucks. Um, I definitely need an upgrade, but this one has been holding up for me for, I think, over a year now. So the only bad thing about having a humidifier like that is it doesn't have a screen or anything that tells you the percentage of humidity or anything. So personally, I want to upgrade to something a bit more high end where I can see exactly how humid the room is getting because one thing you can run into with using a humidifier and just increasing the humidity in your home in general is if the humidity is way too high, you can have mold problems, which I don't think anybody wants. So that's definitely something to be careful about. Honestly, if you have enough plants, in general, the humidity is going to stay up because the plants kind of emit humidity themselves. So if you have a bunch of them, there's already going to be a natural humidity increase, but something that will help prevent any mold problems from happening. And also is just super important for your plants in general is actually going to be the next topic we're about to talk about. All right, we back where we started because I feel like the lighting was getting a little crazy there for a second. But anyways, <laughs> the next thing we're going to be talking about is airflow. Honestly, I feel like this is kind of something that is not talked about as much when it comes to plant care, but it is something that is still super important for your plants. But I definitely suggest having some sort of fan around. So unfortunately, I don't have like a ceiling fan in this room like I did in my last apartment. But I do have these two fans on the floor that I use to circulate the air in here so that there is proper airflow and that my plants stay happy because one, it can help prevent mold from high humidity too it will help any like bacterial spots growing on your plants and just like any fungal growths or anything happening in general because plants really do need airflow to stay happy it is kind of like a no-brainer and i feel like most times airflow just kind of happens naturally but if you're in an enclosed space like this or if you're increasing the humidity to where you're gonna need more airflow definitely have some sort of fan around but yeah if you use like all of those things combined so grow lights heat source humidity and then airflow your plants should be pretty happy just off of that during the growing season that's typically what the plants are going to be receiving naturally so if you're able to provide that for them consistently and year round your plants are going to be able to grow all the freaking time <laughs> but we are just going to finish off with some more little tips for the fall slash winter so if you do have windows that your plants are growing in you do want to keep your plants a little bit away from the windows so that they aren't touching the glass because if it does get to freezing temperatures outside, your plants could get cold damage. And another thing is cold drafts. So you probably don't want to keep any windows open or, you know, any doors or anything because if it's cold outside and a cool breeze comes in, typically plants are not going to be too thrilled and they might show signs of stress and might lose some leaves. Another thing is you might want to cut back on your watering since there is less light unless you are using row lights because if you have more light your plants are going to use more energy so in theory they should use up some more water and if you have really good airflow as well but since there isn't like any direct sunlight or as much of it there isn't going to be as much evaporation so plants are typically going to stay a lot more moist than they do in the summer so that is something else to keep in mind we don't want any rot to happen and we don't want to overwater any plants i also suggest fertilizing your plants which i feel like is kind of taboo 
in the off season because people typically suggest not to fertilize your plants in the winter slash fall. But personally, I fertilize my plants year round with every watering. And since I have so much grow lights and they're growing all the time, they are using those nutrients and definitely are benefiting from it. So I highly suggest fertilizing year round. But if you are somewhere that has a lot less light, I do suggest probably holding back on the fertilizer a little bit or maybe not fertilizing as much because if there's not as much light the plants not going to use as much energy so you're kind of just giving it nutrients for no reason but honestly those were all the things i could think of off the top of my head to help out with growing your plants throughout the fall and winter so if you found any of these helpful please let me know down in the comments and if there's anything you still have questions on or that i forgot to mention definitely let me know down in the comments and we can discuss down there but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please make sure to leave me a like hopefully some of these tips and suggestions are going to be helpful for y'all i do want to disclaim i'm not like an expert or anything and this is just what works for me in my environment so definitely keep that in mind and do what works for you so if something i suggested isn't really working out for you stop doing that <laughs> and you know figure out what's gonna work for you but <laughs> nonetheless i just wanted to give y'all some of my personal tips on how to keep your plants happy i hope you guys have a great rest of your wednesday and if you didn't already know i upload plant videos here every wednesday and saturday so if you'll be looking for that I got you. And you should definitely check out my other videos. And if you already have, why not click that subscribe button? You're already here. And if you want to see more of me and my plants, I do have a TikTok that goes by the same username. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. But I'm going to head out and I'll see y'all on Saturday. Bye.